Hey everyone, this is the fifth video in a series of videos explaining Boolean logic circuits with binary notation. If you haven't seen the first four videos, I suggest you go back and watch them beginning with the AND so that you have a background knowledge that'll help you work with this one, especially because this one is the grouping of the NOT and the AND gate, which we've looked at before. All right. So a NAND gate, as you heard, was a combination of the NOT and the AND gate. So here I have a simple logic lab simulation set up with a single NAND gate. As you can see, I started with both of my inputs at true, which gives me a value of false. And if I were to shift any of these inputs into the false state, it will output a value of true. If I were to show you the Venn diagram of the NAND gate, here we have the AND gate, just for reference. As you recall, for an AND gate to come out true, X and Y had to be true. If we had to take the NOT of this Venn diagram, everything would be opposite. So a NAND gate is only false if X and Y are true. So if you're going to take a look at this in natural English, things get kind of difficult. So what I'm going to have to do is explain how to break apart this NAND gate into separate components so that we can speak about it. Because English doesn't have a NAND. You don't go up to someone and say, pick up your pencils, NAND your pens. And people will start looking at you funny. So here we have A and B. Now, you'll remember from my AND notation, I'm simply dropping the multiplication symbol that is normally placed inside. So let me just show you. So that's an AND gate, and this is a more complex notation I'm using where you just drop that symbol in the middle. So I have A and B, and I like to put an overline on top. So here I have, which works out to A NAND B. And I'm going to show you, there's a man named De Morgan who defined sort of how to work with Boolean algebra, which is just working normal algebra except with this Boolean notation. And he worked out the NAND and the NOR gates, how they can be simplified and grouped together. So we have A NAND B simplifies to not A or not B. So let's put that together here. So not A or not B is what we've simplified our NAND gate to. And if you need a proof of that, here we can go into the logic lab move this over. Not a... or not b. That over space. Or not b. So as you recall, if I put both on it would be false. If I put any of them false, it would be true. Alright, so that's how it works. It is a simplification. So if your teacher were to come up to you and say, pick up, or actually, yes, don't pick up your pencils, or don't pick up your pens, your pens, you could do a whole bunch of things and still be within the guidelines. You could pick up your pencils, and you haven't picked up your pens, so that's true. You could pick up your pens, but you haven't picked up your pencils, and so that's still true. And you could pick up nothing, which means you didn't pick up your pencils, so you're still good. Or you didn't pick up your pens, so you're still good. And for those, 
who need the truth table, just for our luck. So anything with a false in it, so we have zeros, 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 becomes true. Anything with just true becomes false. Now, NAND shares a similar property to NOR, in which any other gate can be made out of NAND gates. So if I were to go into the logic lab, move these out of the way, so I have my two inputs, I would have NANDs. If we scroll down, Here's Wikipedia's page on how to produce the other gates using simply NAND gates. So let's pick a challenge of... Mm, let's do the AND gate yet again. So an AND gate solely out of NANDs would be A, NAND, B, NAND, A, NAND, B. So kind of simple in that case. They're using P and Q and this symbol as NAND which is slightly different because we are not grouping together our NANDs into a single notation. Uh, it will simplify some things, but I like the look of how the overbars group things together in brackets by themselves, because with the overbar I wouldn't need to use these brackets, so that's why I prefer that notation. But if you want to have more concise notation, I suppose, a succinct, you could use this if you wanted. All forms are perfectly fine. So, we have to split our inputs. Again. Let's see. There we go. So, let's that over. Have we need three NANDs. Oh, I ran out of space. Yes. A NAND B and the A NAND B. Well, looks like a confusing crossover, but it's just gonna have to happen that way. And then NAND those together. Out. So as we call an AND gate is only true if both are true. So if you turn any one of these on, you get false. But if I turn both, I get true. And that's how you produce an AND gate out of simple NAND gates. So that's the last gate we're going to look at for this series of videos. The next and final video is just going to be a couple of examples of more complex circuits. Uh, I might try to show a couple more NAND or NOR circuitry, and maybe we can get into a little more complex things near the end. I'm also going to go into an overview of the notation because Boolean notation has so many different forms that are accepted it can sometimes get confusing as to why people are using different types. See you then.